This is the PAX Space Laboratory. We were working on an experiment in suspended animation. That's me, Captain Anthony Vico. I went from test pilot to astronaut, and now I'm leader of the PAX team. Alison Crowley, navigator and communications expert. PAX doctor, William Scott. In our deep sleep, we thought all was well. While mission control monitored our flight path, they discovered a mass of giant asteroids hurtling through space directly toward us. They were able to recompute our orbit away from the speeding asteroids. They could save us, but not themselves. Meteors rained down on Earth for days. It was the worst disaster in the history of the world. They saved us by extending our suspended animation. Our new orbit would loop the sun and return in 180 years. Back on Earth, only hours before the disaster struck, several hundred volunteers, our loved ones among them, entered the underground suspended animation chamber at PAX headquarters. Like us, they were in a deep sleep. We were awakened by the computer and it gave us our instructions. Return to PAX. Free those helpless people from an endless sleep. beautiful round ball was a welcome sight. Whatever had happened to it didn't matter. It was still our home. We moved through the connecting tubes to the shuttlecraft in the exit chamber. I fired the engines and set our glide path for re-entry. We safely blasted away from the space lab. What would we find in the strange new world? crash landing of our shuttlecraft, we were able to retrieve the Vesta Explorer vehicle. All of our equipment seemed to be working properly, and Allison was able to tune in on the PAX emergency recall signal. We'd been following the signal for days, as it faded in and out. I had the feeling we were no closer to PAX now than when we started. It again. Try now. I can't get a fix. There's something wrong with our equipment. 
We've been teased by that damn signal for ten days now. But it's on our emergency recall frequency. It's got to be meant for us. But it's not our signal code. Somebody else must be sending the message. On our frequency? I doubt it. If that were the case, it'd be coming in clear. Allison, I think I found your radio problem. This thing's dirty. Nothing in this machine will work right. Try it again. It's coming in again. Strong. We must be sitting on it. Vico workup on blood consistency and tissue viability, then do intensive fluoroscopics on all three. Are we testing tissue age? Yes, begin. Remove a portion of blood for testing, then take them to their quarters and make them comfortable. Yes, sir. thing I remember was that weird light sound there was a sound what is this I had some sort of shot some sort of injection let's see hmm, fairly large needle diameter check your arm doc I got one too Any unpleasantness will soon pass. Dr. Scott, Allison, Captain Vico, I'm Tana. Tana. Well, Tana, can you explain who you are and what we're doing here? I'm not the one who'll explain. I don't want any pleasantries. All I want to know is where we are. The food is free from any Holocaust effects. While they're refreshing themselves, Dr. Scott, the surgeon is very anxious to explain. Dr. Scott? I'll find out what I can. <laughs>
Doctor? Yes. You don't think this is a little out of place? But what about this? What's this for? What are you doing? Just seeing what it's for. I must ask you to please keep your hands off of this panel. The lady and I are leaving. Just now. Look, locked doors make me nervous, so the lady and I will go outside. I'm flattered that you think so. There are many others that you might like to look through at some time. Yes, I would, but uh, I don't think we'll be here that long. Will we? I'll answer that question by asking you one. Now, suppose I were to tell you that this place is the culmination and the fruition of many lifetimes of scientific and medical research. Not mine alone, many others, brilliant men working together in this colony as one. Did you send the signal that brought us here, the PAC signal? Yes, we did. Is that how you colonize? By luring in strangers? Not strangers at all. Your presence was long hoped for and carefully planned. Excuse me, sir. I thought you'd like to know that the certain circumstances. I'm afraid I must interrupt. Your rash friend has complicated things a bit. Come along, Dr. Scott. I think you'll find this interesting. What is it, some kind of festival? Actually, nothing to worry about. A celebration of life, not a dirge playing homage to death. And here are the errant children. What happened? There was an accident. It wasn't deliberate. I didn't mean to do it. Yes, Sprang. As a matter of fact, this is his funeral. Why did you must 
must have made a mistake. What is this? Some sort of Alice in Wonderland game? No, he wouldn't be that cruel. He did die. In your frame of reference. Arana? A demonstration is in order. Arana? What is our most cherished gift? Life. And in celebration of life, I salute you. Unlike you, my friend, we haven't been asleep for two centuries. The area is automatically sterile. How long? Two, maybe three days. At least a week before any heavy exercise. That's incredible. An open heart aorta transplant and the patient's awake. It won't be long now. I know, I'm going to be fine. She monitors the functions of her own body with the help of a brain scanner. No pain. She controls her own respiration and bleeding. Then Sprang. He really was dead. His life functions ceased. It was temporary. Are you really saying what I think you're saying? There is no... death. As you know that. And as we know it, death is death. Where do your donors Where come Where do you get your transplants? I'm sorry, you have to hold your questions. Well, all the answers. Wait a minute. Are you ill? I'm sorry, you have to wait. Hello. I've been asked to show you around, and also I will answer any questions within my sphere of knowledge. Is there any reason I can't remain here? I'd like to check post-operative procedures. Why no? Go ahead. Thank you. Look, uh, no offense, but I was never much on guided tours. Do you mind if I just sort of look around on my own? Why not? Go ahead. Go wherever you like. See you later. Oh, sir, what you're looking for is down below that knoll over there. There it is, right where we left it. Something strange about this. It looks too easy. Can I just get in and drive it away? No, I thought not. That's it. They've taken the power relay. Now they really have us. It's a beautiful place. We call it Eterna. Everybody's so young and healthy. Where are all the old people? They're here. They're all around. children. 
There are no children. What happened to them? There, there just aren't any children. There never has been. You felt nothing. A pressure, a dull pressure. And you were given no medication that you know of, no, no, no narcotics. None. It's amazing. Do you know from where your your transplant came, your donor? My clone. Your clone? Yes. Thank you. Where's Tony? Thought he was with you. What, no. I... What, what's the matter? There are no children here. What do you mean? I mean, the girl told me that there have never been any children here, ever. There have been many changes in 180 years. Now, if you accept the fact that we've conquered death... I accept what I see. I mean, an amazing operation for which the groundwork was laid over 200 years ago. But no children. How do you reproduce? We don't. The Holocaust destroyed our reproductive capabilities. You're thriving, vital people, healthy and beautiful. I'd like to show you something. What is this? This is our collective womb. Two baby. What have you explained, Dr. Scott? Since in a way you're partially responsible? In our time, we knew that a single cell from a living creature had the genetic code to create an exact duplicate of the total being. You mean you succeeded in cloning humans and growing them from a single cell? Yes. That's where you get your transplants. You mean you take parts of duplicates of individuals? I think that's horrible and unnatural. We were faced with extinction. There was no choice. Either develop this method or perish. Well, I still don't believe it. Because I just don't want to. Behold and believe. A complete, complex human organism grown from a single cell of the human body. What's wrong, Tony? They've taken the power relay from the Vesta. In case it's escaped you two, we're prisoners here. Tony, please try not to be so paranoid, really. Why? Because they're all so damn polite. I tell you, we're prisoners. And if you don't believe me, ask him. Go on, ask him. Is that true? Are we prisoners? We are all prisoners here in Eterna. What do you mean we're all prisoners? Let's have some plain straight talk. You've got us here against our will. What do you want from us? Given your choice, would you leave here now? I'd like that choice. Are you staying here against your will? Well, whether or not against our will seems irrelevant for the time being, Tony. I mean, there's a lot to be learned here. Give me until this evening. Am I out of my mind, or is, is that? Yes, it's Tana. Original. 
Reunion. Spring, you can leave us. Are you sure, sir? You might ask. Sir? Yes, Spring. You said I might ask. You might ask Tan. Drawback is immunity. That's what I meant when I said that we're all prisoners here. Each clone is grown from cellular tissue, and that takes about four days. From single cell to full growth in four days? Each time this happens, the host organism loses a small fraction of its immunity. To disease and infection. Now your blood has no such weakness. If it were transfused into ours, hold it right there. Wait, wait a minute, Tony. He's got an interesting point. It would be like donating blood, a small amount, maybe once a month. You wouldn't be harmed. I'm afraid you'll have to leave now. Sprang. Show our guests out. It's almost supper time. Will you come with me, please. Forty. Over seventeen. Three hundred and seventy-two. That's got me worried. He's really hung up on this surgeon's medical ideas. It's as if he knows something we don't. The surgeon's the one that's got me worried. And how? How old do you think he is? I don't know. He looks about forty, but his symptoms are all clinical textbook examples of senility. That doesn't happen at forty. Unless there's some sort of strange atrophy that goes on around here. I don't think that's what's happening. Well, this business with the blood's got me spooked. They're still treating us like guests. But I've got a feeling the longer we hang around here, the tougher it's going to be to get out. And I think we should get out now. Okay, I agree. What about Scott? Let's fix the Vesta. Then maybe it'll be easier to convince him. Listen, you know where the Vesta is? Yes, unless they moved it. All right, I'll meet you there in forty minutes. Make it an hour, okay? Okay. Open wide. Open, open, open. Good. That's very good. Good. That's very good. Good. Get out now! Good Lord! What's the matter with him? He'll be all right. He'll be all right in thirty minutes. Mommy, I swear. I don't understand. Explain it to me. Here, explain it to yourself. What's this? A medical school diploma. His. But then, according to this, his age would have to be two hundred and twelve years old.
What are you doing here? Planning our escape. Will you help? No. Help us. Come with us. I don't want to leave. I won't. Even if it were possible, I wouldn't want to. I don't want to decay while I'm still alive. Growing old isn't decay. I mean, it doesn't have to be. I'm terrified of death. Yet sometimes, I must confess, I long for it. I'm lonely here. Terribly lonely. Then come with us. Help us to escape and come with us. get your machine, your, your vehicle to work, you can't get through the decontamination shield. Why not? If it were turned off, even for an instant, the germs and the wind, even those, might end it all for us. If they got us in here, there's got to be some way we can get out. made one mistake. Don't make another. <laughs> no way. I don't have a catalog of spare parts. I was a student in a seminar you gave at the World Genetic Center. A young research assistant. Two centuries ago. Yes. I'm astonished. I've used many of your theoretical applications. Applications of single cell growth. Much more advanced more refined well i've had time to develop to do research time is growing short our bodies can live indefinitely but the cloning process and the problems with immunity well my brain 
is not what it once was. I have lapses. You manifest initial senility symptoms. Yes, I've noticed. Much worse. I fear total madness. You are the only one who can take over here. You'll have your chance at the laboratories. 200 years to answer problems. Questions haven't been formulated yet. I've dreamed about your taking over. I prayed and plotted that one day you would pass close enough to Eterna. To be tempted into taking the bait. Yes, and you did. Now you must think carefully and give the only answer that a scientist can answer. What are you going to do? I'm sorry they had to force you into this. Please understand that it's nothing more than a simple blood extraction. It has to be this way. I think they're ready. Then let's begin. Fifteen minutes, you'll both be drinking juice and walking around, wondering why you made such a fuss. When I get loose, Doctor, you'll know what the fuss is about. You better believe it. It must be difficult for you. After all, they're friends and colleagues. They don't understand the ramifications of this. I'm sure they'd cooperate willingly if they knew how important it was, both to your survival and future research. Is it you or your zombie double? How many are there of you, anyway? Several more of them up there. And the one you saw. The clones wearing the masks. What are they? They're defectives. Nobody likes to see his mirror image less than perfect. Ready for the readout scan. test to see if the pre-holocaust blood is clonable. What have these embryos got to do with my colleagues? I assumed you knew. And mine? Where's mine? too valuable to this little corner of the universe. We couldn't risk that. Risk what? Are you ready? Point one five.
What happened? Nothing. All the police did surround. What's going on? Run that again. wearing off. Give him another quarter unit, please. But subcutaneously. What are you doing? Just a minor alteration. We do the best we can and then we adjust the circumstances. How many brilliant discoveries were the result of unplanned accidents that's what makes it exciting isn't it what size cruets did you prepare number a3 sir two of them get an r15 and one's enough sir did you say r15 Yes, get an R-15. Now, I did say it clearly, didn't I? What is that? Unfortunately, the, the embryonic blood isn't clonable. We're going to have to shift. Clone the blood by itself. But the capacity of an R-15 is nine liters. But the adult human body only contains approximately six liters of blood. That, that can't be helped. Dr. Scott, they're your friends. You may do it. Oh, I remember. I had a girl student working in my lab. And she became attached to a hamster we were using. And when we had to kill it, She broke down. Science makes its demands on us, doesn't it, Dr. Scott? Donna, help the good doctor take the blood. That will be a total non-life condition. survival here. What it means to all of us. You're right, Doctor. I'll do it. And Tana, you'll assist me. I know it'll be difficult. But the quicker we do it, the easier it'll be.
hold this, please, while I tie it. I never figured you for this. Hold still. Keep your arm still. I might cut you. Nothing we can do for any of them now. Let's get out of here. Try and set us a course. Anywhere, as long as it's peaceful this time. Do dreams and reality ever merge without a flaw somewhere? Through the woods and over the mountains. <laughs> to grandmother's house we go. landing and retrieved the Vesta Explorer vehicle. We traveled for days across barren plains somewhere in the southwest United States. Our food and water have almost run out, but our water detection unit is leading us toward a forested area in a desert canyon.
So what's our position now? I have checked and rechecked, but the instrument reading is still the same. Swell. That means we should have crossed the Mississippi River yesterday, but instead we're in the middle of a desert. A cup of mud. What's in it this time? Pretend it's coffee and enjoy it because this is the last of the water. What about the water extraction servo? That's it. That's all the water in 24 hours? This equipment was made to extract it from the atmosphere of Venus, not wring it out of these dust clouds on Earth. All right, we'll just take a detour. If we go due north, we'll be able to reach the lake region within a day or so. <laughs> oh, Allison, you're a fine navigator. But you have to remember that this equipment doesn't always work properly. Give me a heading. Two, three, five, magnetic. Or as the crow flies, south by southwest. Sir. If any of us gets separated, I'll send up the shot like always. Well, the water's loaded with salt, but there must be streams feeding it somewhere. This place looks like it was man-made. You mean somebody built all this and planted the trees? Tony could be right. I'm sure of it. These are tropical trees, and the bottom looks like concrete. Where do you think the water's coming from, Doc? Well, probably a spring back in the jungle. Well, let's go find it. Well, it's concrete. Somebody built it. But when? How long ago? They used the water, then they left it. Or they didn't. Maybe nobody survived in this area. Oh, if the birds and the animals made it, why not the people? Hey! Hey, we can eat these, can't we? Let me see. <laughs> sure, I can make us a fruit salad. And if Tony can rig us a, a still of some kind, I can spike it with guava liqueur. Hey, Tony, look! It's been 200 years since I've had a taste of liqueur. Guavas? I used to see these in fruit stands on 8th Avenue. It's great. Well, okay. Go ahead, get some more. We can use them. Tony, I've been thinking, how would you feel about staying in this place for a while? What do you want to do? Well, slow down a little bit. Why not? Pitch camp and hang around here? Now, look, when are you and Allison going to realize we're not going to find anything left of packs or civilization as we knew it?
We've been running around for ten months. This place is no better or worse than most others, probably. I mean, uh, we got to face the fact that everything we've touched probably been shot through with radiation. Even the air we're breathing now may be filled with gamma particles. I mean, I think it's time we just slowed down and started living. This isn't my idea, home. Is this yours? Well, now, we got Forney's robbing our snag. Where's the girl? We know she was here. Get that our snag. Elope. Where's the elope? Our snag has blood of elope on it. Where is it? We're looking for a girl. This forest is of our account. We don't let Forney State gain from it. We don't want your game. We're trying to find a girl who was with us. And on the way, we found that. All right. See if you can track out an omen. We'll see if there's an omen.
You think it's an act? It's no act. It's too elaborate. They haven't got her. They got us. Yeah. There was um in here. Them from inside. They found her. She was with our Elo. She fought. These four or five, they took her. And our elope. Who took her? Where? The band that follows old Cirrus. He lives up in there. Inside. She be branded now. They brand them they catches. How do you know? Hide. Show the fornies what's gonna happen to their omen. We've got tools, things to trade. If you help us get her back. Inside, they got animals that eat a man. Lions, giant slithers, tigers. We got this. A shooter? People of your camp got shooters? They no good without brasses. Won't work like this. No, it works like this. Give me the shooter. And I take you inside. We find their tracks. And get your woman. Before she all burned and scarred by the iron. When she's with us. And safe. The shooter is yours. Four men into the forest on this trail. Let's go. Stop! See anything, Fornies? Depends on what you're looking for. Thank <laughs> you. 
running down that trail. And the stabber catch you. You follow Badger. Please let me go back to my friends. Animals live here. This is their place. Just listen to me, please. You've made a mistake. Gently. You poached. I'm not a In poacher. In a typical fashion. With a snag wounding this elope. This book of our law dates back before the famines. Even before the great firestorms, punishment is prescribed here in Section 12, as written by the Elders Commission. First offenders shall be permanently marked for identification by the letter P, to be firmly branded on the foreflank of the offender. But I tried to help the animal. It's our duty to punish poachers. We're the chosen wardens of the forest. Its fruits feed us. Its animals know us as their friends and protectors. Daniel, what do you say? She's your captive. She doesn't seem like a poacher. She's got no bow. She's loud and clumsy in the forest. Of whose camp are you? I'm not from any camp. Look, I... I'm old. I come from the past. From a time when this was a park. I used to come here with places like this with my husband and, and my little girl. And it is they who were looking for you on the outside? No, they're still in the past. You were here in this forest before I was even born. And yet it's true. You are strange different from other poachers. Even your shoes are of a hide we've never seen. But your story reeks of magic. Certain animals are able to sleep through periods of hardship. It's called hibernation. Yes, we understand these things. Well, that's what happened to us. My friends and I, for the past 200 years, have been in hibernation. Since another age, we've been in a special kind of sleep. Only certain animals have this ability, not people. No, it's possible to induce it into people. My friends and I have a lot of knowledge that we've brought with us from our time. I have medicine. I could make that elope well again. We can help each other in a lot of ways. We'll see how she can help us. 
I'll not finish reading the articles. For the time being, there'll be no punishment. Go find the others from her camp and bring them here. I'll take that shooter now, Forney. Find your omen now. They have game and water while we scratch for life outside. We can't go nothing. When the springs dry up, the oldest and the weakies die. We'll make a deal and share it with them. Share nothing. Take it. Take it and kill them. <laughs> Up those steps. Lies the camp of old Cirrus. Hold here. When I call, you follow. Make it without him? We'll have to. And when I die, it'll be Daniel. He will have taken a wife by then. Is Daniel your son? No, I have no children now. He's chosen by the animals themselves. Many of our band can speak with them, but the one who is best. The one who is most trusted by them is the head warden. Like all commissioners, he is then schooled in the speech and manners of the past text. Who wrote your laws? The articles? No one is sure of those times. But 
was a time of great famine when wandering hordes came from the cities and devoured the animals. Do you know what caused the famines and the fires? No one is certain of those times. Like blind men describing an elephant. One feels the trunk and calls it a giant slither. Another grasps a leg and calls it a huge column of flesh. Like blind men, we know only pieces of those past events. The Kragan! He's with other poachers! They tried to kill me! They have shooters that blow flame. She's betrayed us. She's a liar. That's not true. It's not true. Cager! Sirius remembered you hadn't eaten. My friends aren't going to attack. They only want to help me. We wouldn't hurt anybody. We're just looking for the place where we used to live. A place we lived in peace. Well, I can't believe in peace. We never had it, we never will. But you could. Someday, you'll lead your people. You could try to teach them to Talk instead of fight. I hoped I could learn from you. It may be that our world is only this forest, but of your world in time, there's only dust and ruins. Nothing at all. Arcade. Yeah. We don't 
Tony, look. What is it? Vet supplies. You now, this whole area had to be an old zoo. Those are hypodermic darts for tranquilizing animals. By the looks of it, there's enough juice here to knock over an army of elephants. They used an air rifle. Tony, look. It's still pressure sealed and hasn't crystallized. No, Tony, that's just a toy. The thing they use. I know, I know. Come here. Look. I got an idea. Too certain about stuff this old. Maybe weak as water. Hard to tell how much to use. Just make it enough. Now let's see if it works. And here is yet another case from our ancient book of laws. Any person or persons who should be found guilty of betraying the interforest shall be punished by the Board of Park Commissioners herein as follows. There are many such cases, and in all of them, the commission has pronounced the punishment of death. During my rule, I've never passed the death sentence. There's never been a crime so grave. I read the articles, but I withdraw from this judgment. Who would vote to spare her? Cyrus, I won't follow the articles. As to the method of killing? In the idea of killing. Killing this woman because we think she's betrayed us. There's been no attack. But it was your word that condemned her. They attacked you with a shooter. But what if we're wrong? You mean... If you are wrong, wrong in your accusation. Yes. Can you deny that you have a special feeling for the girl? I wanted to believe her because I thought she could bring us knowledge from her time. Daniel, we've respected your thoughts in past matters. But now... You must remove yourself from this judgment.
Let her go! We don't want to harm anyone. We just want the woman back. All right. Stand back. Let her go. And we'll let him go. Are you all right? I don't know. If you leave the forest, I'll guarantee you safe conduct to the outside. Word was good. Tony! Tony, come here, quick! Recognize our friend? What is it? He's got the flare gun. You see him? Go warn your people. Go ahead, the poachers are attacking. Go warn your people. and be safe. What defense have they got against our flare gun? They'll kill each other. Why did you come back? Because Badger has that shooter. Cirrus has given the defense of the compound to me. You have no defense against it. What do you want us to do? Keep your people away from here. Put them in the caves, out of sight. All right. Doc, rig some more darts. You've got the last one in your bow. Then we really have only one chance. I gotta be so close I can't miss.
Come out now. I got the shooter. Where's the forney? I want the forney. Give me the forney. Can't hurt Badger with Stinger Bug. Try it again, Forty. Oh, try again. Get over there with him. Sentences and the branding will begin. Some of them will receive the penalty of death. Nothing's going to change. You keep following that old book. Stop those people from getting any water. They're they're going to come back. Only maybe next time they'll win. Challenge our laws. I challenge our laws. The articles were written for a different time. Things change. Would you write new laws for our book? You're going to have to have new laws if you want peace. With water, the poachers can raise food. Maybe they'll leave the animals alone. Maybe we'll trade with them. Maybe we'll meet them as friends. Goodbye. I have learned from you. Thank you. 